And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast. Hi, Kevin Selly in the Weather Center. Fairly quiet forecast in the short term. It gets a little interesting in the longer term, though. So for Tuesday, partly sunny day, mix of clouds and sun, mainly high clouds, filter the sunshine a little bit. It's going to be uh, a little warmer after the cold front came through on Sunday night, and it's going to be a little breezy as well. Let's talk winds here. 64 for the high, by the way. Monday night, as I record this, were sustained winds 15 to 20 miles per hour. Into the morning, they're going to pick up a little bit, and by late morning, especially into the midday hours, were sustained at 15 to 25 out of the south southwest. So it's a little breezy, nothing we can't handle, but there'll be some gusts over 30 here and there. So that's probably the headline of the day. They back down a little bit, but still breezy into the evening hours on Tuesday night. Average high 52. We're above that, but trending down a little bit starting Thursday back into the 50s. High clouds, as I mentioned, come and go. There's a couple little disturbances that come along. One of them on Thursday brings a small chance for some light showers in a couple of spots. That's only about a 20% rain chance. There's the spin that represents the next storm system. See it out there in the Pacific Ocean through the center portion of your screen kind of heading south. We're going to watch that one very carefully. It's going to cause us trouble like the previous one. Remember the little winter storm that we had the other day? That was what we call a cutoff low. Spent a long time last week talking about that. Cutoff lows can cause trouble with the timing of the forecast and exactly how things pan out. But that's that spin, that blue dot there in the center left of your screen. By Tuesday, it turns into a little bit of a trough of low pressure. That's a storm system, certainly. But then watch what happens as we get toward the weekend. Here's Thursday. See how it's kind of turned into a circle as opposed to a lobe? That's a cutoff low. It's cut, off, it's cut itself off from the main steering uh, currents of the jet stream. So it may slow down a little bit. This becomes important for the weekend because obviously it's a big travel weekend just ahead of Christmas time. So early Saturday and into the afternoon is still coming by as a trough of low pressure, but I think the dynamics of it are, are changing a little bit. The timing is going to change. It's not a winter storm. This is going to be liquid only. It's way too warm to have any uh, wintry precipitation. So in the short term, or in the long term, we'll watch that. In the short term, we've got clouds that come and go through the day on Tuesday. Again, mainly high clouds or mid and, low, high low, mid and high level clouds. Uh, they'll come and go and not bring us any rain for Tuesday or Wednesday. Mid 60s for the highs. Small chance of an isolated shower coming up on Thursday. Friday's a quiet day, 61. Right now, the timing on the weekend looks like the best rain chance will be Saturday. We're going to have to see about the speed and if this next storm system, the cutoff slows down, we'll drop the rain chance back to 20% on Sunday. Might extend it into Monday if this thing slows down. And note some cooler air coming. So it's cooler for uh, Monday, Christmas Day. High temperature of four, uh, 50, so that's most of the day in the 40s. We'll keep you posted.